Hey guys, I'm Blair Falcon. I am a member of the production team for Evan Dub Deceiver of Fools. Um, I am one of the creators, co writers, editors, directors, producers, voice actors. Um, so there's a lot I do on the crew. Um, I also, you know, I rely on my friends a lot <laughs> to help me. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things that we're going to be discontinuing. Now, one of those things is the apology segment, uh, which is a lot of fun. I know some of you really enjoy it, um, but it holds up production because I have to go through the previous episode, and if it was a multi-part episode, every part of the previous episode, watch them and then write down every single reference that I recall using. And I'm not very pop culture savvy, so there's going to be some things that I miss, and I feel really bad about that later. Um, and it just, it's not very efficient, so I'm not going to be doing that anymore. And the second thing that I'm no longer going to be doing is the customized content warnings. Now, initially, those were uh, Wales's idea. Uh, she's very sensitive and very compassionate, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, <laughs> but you see, the thing is that I would have to save a demo and then upload it um, privately, have her look at it, and then she would text me all of the things that she thought might be potential triggers for the audience. And um, by this point, it kind of feels like it's too much to do that every episode. Uh, we're more than 20 episodes in. Y'all know what the show is about. So at this point, it kind of feels like pandering. Um, I'm hoping that everyone watching the show is an adult, but if you happen to not be an adult, um, I'm not going to judge you, but I am going to trust you to know yourself and to realize that we talk about some things that are not entirely appropriate for minors, and so if you see something, the conversation's headed a certain way to where it's going to upset you, I'm going to trust you to be smart and click away. and. Yeah, I realize that some people might consider it bad form to be all, oh, don't like, don't watch, but I am fully going to enforce that because I am not your babysitter. I am a producer, the show is my baby, and um, <laughs> as much as I love my fans and or potential fans, I just, I can't be coddling everybody at the expense of efficiently producing each episode now. We have been doing this for a few years and only have 20-something episodes out, and the main things that hold up production are the apologies segment and the content warning. So with the exception of the upcoming episode, Trigger Happy, we're just not going to have that anymore. And um, to those of you who are, you know, upset about that or offended by that, um, I apologize, but... Um, I'd rather just, you know, put all the slides together, because the show takes long enough to produce anyway. I mean, I had to call in reinforcements for this episode. Um, I had to have someone draw and then send to me a couple of sprites, because I couldn't get them done uh, by the time I wanted to produce the episode. And so to have to do apologies and content warnings on top of that, it just, it's too much. And... You guys are smart, you know, um, you guys know what your triggers are, you guys know what upsets you, so um, from now on I'm just going to be putting in, um, in the description a generic content warning and you're going to have to, uh, you know, find some way to deal with it on your own. I'm sorry. Well, kind of. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now. Blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. There's someone there. Please, I need some help. Of all the time for your fucking friends not to be here. We're not alone. Some of us have things to do. We're characters in a show named after a Wintham Temptation song. Statistics tend to go over our heads. Fuck, about time. We're all here. Well, Cory just told us you asked for Elibrius. Good, she backlash. Shit, hang on. Surprise. 
Fucking hell, stay put next time. Like a puppy. Woof. I will not stay put. We've been in Cinnamon's room the whole time. We can't leave. Anyway, the bitch backlash our magic against us, and we have a problem of the second spell that hit us. Arf! Anon owes me money. What? Will you fucking listen to me? I know you don't like me, Demon Side, but please hear me out, okay? I knew this would happen. We bet on it. Fuck it. Let me get a Librius. Ding dong! What do you need? Look, I'm now loading. I can't really explain right now. What was that? I wasn't paying attention. But Orion is out, and I can't do anything but my sister. Dot dot dot. The backlash hit her first. But the weapon you sent protected her from that is what the second spell that did something. Is everybody's memory intact? His memory of grammar is gone, but otherwise we're fine. Back to preschool! Well, I don't know. They can't do anything though. I... the others. Everybody's basically trapped here. No. I just need to know what kind of memory altering spells do people have, and how easy they are to reverse. people kind of a racist comment? Pretty damn easy if they're done incorrectly, which they usually are. If you need to reverse something, do you need to reverse one or cast one? Remember kids, winner shins! I don't know how bad it is, but that bitch sent our magic back at us, followed by the spell of her own. ARF! Reverse then. Well, without details, there's not much I know. Whenever she messed with my memory, it usually didn't last more than a few hours. As for when she tried to delete Alibriuses, he was able to get it back by having someone else feed him their perspective, and the rest of his memory returned in mm, half an hour or so. Yes, because that's how amnesia works. Well, memories are never completely erased. A residual imprint would remain. So you can reverse by casting a spell to strengthen the imprint. Well, shit. Hang on. She's waking up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, what can you do all about all of it? Drake, have you considered, I don't know, using Alibrius' weapon to behead Baralite? She didn't face us. Dot dot dot. God! I haven't been called that in a long time. I digress. Yes, you do. You're so honest now. She didn't come out and challenge us directly, like we assumed that she would when I called her. Instead, she reflected our spell and sent another one as well. So we weren't exactly able to go after her. We can vol her energy, energy from her spell, using it as a channel for our own energy. energy. There's a force field around her room. Break down the mansion if you have to. Send in a clumsy intern with a vial of nitro glycerin. I would if I could do it. Cory wants me to ask you about Akuma's tattoo. Why? No idea. She says, if it really is him, ask him about the tattoo Akuma has. Oh, buffering. I get it. I put the tattoo on her lower back, and it took four days to complete. Do you have a license to do that? That should make her happy. Yeah. So, did I pass? Yeah. Good. Anyway, the halberd, which is a beautiful p piece of art, by the way, protected her from the backlash. Ew, medieval tomfoolery. That's good. It should also cut through the force field and anything else that would get in her way. Beheading would suffice, but be sure to feed both head and body to the fish if you can. They're getting hungry.
I would if the second spell hadn't hit her and disarmed her. Your weapon seems to protect her from spells. However, the second spell took us by surprise, and she lost her grip. Listen, there is such a thing as too much lube. Depending on the situation... And the spell hit her hard. Me. So hard, she was thrown. Oh, huh? Flush! Is Burl like conscious? No, not her. The spell hit Akuma and threw her. It was some kind of memory spell. I never saw the bitch until she sealed the portal shut again. Woof! Can you open Akuma's bomb to me? I need to feed her my memories if I can. That's just it! Everything is gone! No, but it's closed off. Fuck. Oh, damn it, you're right. There's no way to open it. Call for Caleb. I can't. I can't leave this body. I doubt it will work, but okay. Give us a few minutes, okay? Very well. Did it work? I feel something. This is the best Caleb can do. Any more, and it will damage the bond. Very well, then. Much appreciated. Ow. What? Sharp pain to the right of the bond. Yeah, well, when Akuma flew back, now processing, she slammed into a rock. Is she? How is she? I didn't think to check for injuries. Hang on! Because that would be logical, and the byline of the show is because fuck you logic. Also, if he thought to check for injuries, there wouldn't be that 10 seconds of dramatic suspense. I don't know about you, but I was promised cookies. I was promised a flesh eating pony! I was also promised shiny objects and the chance to do some serious lamp shading. What for, for? As much as I'm enjoying this banter, I'd like to hear about Mr. Kuma's injuries. Well, a few bruises, maybe a broken rib, or two. Don't worry. She may be in some pain, but once she leaves the golem, she'll be fine. I wouldn't either. Burl, I tried to take my right wing. She's absolutely ruthless, as you've seen. I'm sending Caleb back. Cory needs some more now. And yes, I know. Kick her ass. I will, if I can wake my sister from this state. Make no mistake. She has hurt the family too many times. Now loading. Which reminds me, welcome to the family, brother. Wow. Welcoming. That's so kind. Thank you. She's also the reason several of the incarnates are incarnates. Well, I wish I could be more of a help. You're doing well enough. Don't lie! Well, have you ever used an Inflammer spell on her? No. I have not met her before this morning. How is that possible since you're the god of her homeland? Well, it basically burns the soul away until nothing is left. The process is slow but painful, and there is no way to stop it. Killed. Actually, such spells can be stopped by drawing another soul for the spell to consume. I wouldn't recommend it if she's going to keep backlashing. Unless you can have someone get into her good graces and perform it. Just because she's an incompetent spy doesn't mean she's going to be incompetent at spotting a spy. Andrea Hart, Adelaide's daughter. Adelaide and Beryl are close. Andrea and Serena are. Well, Mysterious covers it, but I know for certain Andrea's feelings against her line. The spell is easy enough to perform. Andrea knows it. Unfortunately, she's trapped here. No, no, Drake. 
Leave my pet in peace. Let's not do anything rash. Fine. Go ahead then. I let you have your kit. Thank you. Pause. We are free to talk. Mr. Kumo was very clear when she told Cinnamon to evacuate everybody from Paru into her closet. She said not to let anybody out. That's one big closet. Until we were done. We are done now. They can go home. But tell them to avoid that bitch. Arf! Because if Akuma catches their energy on any of them, dot dot dot. That totals it then. Everybody go home except those of you who are normally with me. I'd like to stay. Fine, Gigi, but don't make any trouble. Hang on. Akuma's up fully now. Let me get her here. Pause. There. Now you can see how bad it is. Pause. Go ahead. Talk to her. Batter up. We want a picture, not a belly itcher. Hello, Mr. Kuma. How are you feeling? Is, is that my name? Yes. See? Really? That's just cheap, especially directly after an episode where Bear Light bragged about taking Elibrius's memory, which he got back. Somehow, just in time for Akuma to lose hers. Well, Akuma is cheap. Cheap drama, that is. Among other things, maybe, but as a stripper, I can't really judge for that. Wait, you're a stripper? You're like 15. Hey, are they still accepting applications? Your name is Akuma. Then you must know me too! <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I don't remember your name. I don't think it's permanent. The amnesia or the intelligence? My name is Libris Falcon. You may call me Lee if you wish. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Ha! <laughs> no, no, Bruce doesn't appear for at least another few weeks. Lee? Sounds familiar! It's a rather popular name. Are we close? <laughs> yes. Something about tiger worms? It's actually a vague reference to the Blade of the Immortal. I'm sorry, Miss Akuma, but though we speak often, I still do not understand your language well. You... you don't? You... I, I said you feel so warm! <laughs> Thank you. You... I... there! Hmm? She's trying to remember something. Something about you. I see. Give her a minute. Sixty! Fifty-nine! Fifty-eight! Stop her! Fjordjian! Babies! Fjordjian! And Zuru Falcon! Yes, that is my full name. You aren't in Zuru by birth! No, I am Dracosti by birth. Lee, that's a nationality, twit. You! Bonded with one! No, you! You bonded with me? I did. Neef Heron! Either Heron Morning or Morning Heron. Hmm? She says you're her husband. In a manner. Liv and Meek Not all this speak your language, dear. Something husband unmeasurable? You're terrible at this. Where's Fluo? Called in sick, so I'm stuck with translation party. Of all the question, no. Even with the translation, I do not understand. No, that wasn't a translation. I just can't believe she asked that question. What was the question? She wanted to know if the two of you had made it yet. What is this, the Discovery Channel? You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get horny now!
I laugh at your despair. So did you understand? Yes, he's my pet rabbit. Kirkus Cloak and Dome Memorial. And this weapon! You made it from tears! <laughs> yes. Something wrong? It took you long enough to notice. I mean, he just fucking got electrocuted twice, but other than that, I'm sure he's just peachy. I said this is the worst possible time for memory loss. I agree. Of course, that's why it was orchestrated this way. You have wings! Like mine? Only red? And larger, I believe. A child! No, we don't have a child yet, right? Not yet. Well, we have an adopted child. Caleb! Caleb Hart! No! Caleb and Zuru! Yes. Fucking hell! What the fuck happened? <laughs> Language, please. Such bad manners. Well, firstly, you randomly teleported halfway across the stage. My head is pounding. <laughs> My face is flushing. What is this feeling? Fervent as a flame. Does it have a name? Burlight happened. That's not how the song goes, idiot. I am going to kill that bitch. Give me that! Is it too soon to open another portal? Woof. For now, now sit. Talk to Lee. Lee? Lee? Yes? You're safe? You're back? When? How? I don't... <laughs> My head feels weird. That's because you took too many roofies. I'm still inside the... Closet. Barrelite hit you with a memory spell. Dovin Moria, I believe. Goodbye memory. Simple error brown. Luckily for us. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. That Dovin Memoria isn't a spell made to last. Yeah, that too. Wait, when? Last night? I don't remember anything after you disappeared. I was here last night. However, early this morning, before Cinnamon awoke, I paid a visit to the Obsidian Mansion. Barrelite nearly tore off my right wing. It's healing it tender. We spoke on the phone earlier. No, you disappeared last night. I couldn't feel you. God, I'm so gonna be sick. I was here last night. I tried to reach you along our bond. Um, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> this might take a few minutes. Please stay in the line. Dot dot dot. Your call is important to us. Dot dot dot. Very well. I must disappear for a few moments as well. Dinner. Hmm. Perhaps my statement was a bit preemptive. Well, dinner now. We'll be back. Okay. Do you want the good news first or the bad? Just tell them, please. Both. I just saved a bunch of money on car insurance by switching to Geico. Oh my gods, you're such a sucker. Whatever. I still can't read. Oops, I'd better give Drake his body back so he can do his job. Bad first. Bad thing. The spell is trying to activate again. Good thing. The halberd is stopping it. Three cheers for the Valus! Cheer, cheer, cheer! Go Halbert. He said three cheers. Oh, screw that. Stare at the shiny Halbert. It's not in the scene. Ah. So, as long as she keeps holding on to it, she's safe. It won't work for anyone else without my word. Well, it wouldn't sing as it's your dong. Hmm, she's gotta be doing a continuance spell on top of the memory spell. Otherwise... The only thing is, we don't know how long this little blessing will keep. Crap. If Celestia weren't in the middle of a war with Vergadi, I'd see if Elyrius could get the damn army down there. 
not my place, but fuck the Lord, this is bigger. Yeah, it's a halberd. I disagree. Cinnamon, you're the queen of a galaxy that's at war with another galaxy. Why the fuck are you even talking to these people? <laughs> Sorry, do you guys have assassins? No, they just have phallic weapons. Who's to say they couldn't have assassins with phallic weapons? <laughs> shut up. Yes. Yes, Akuma, shut up. See? Even Elibrius agrees. Good. Can you get one of them after her? We have one assassin. I mean, one really worth mentioning. He's never lost a battle. You rule an entire galaxy and you only have one worthwhile assassin? That's because everyone else in Celestia kills for fun, not for profit. Oh yes, the Minesweeper. She has a halberd of her own, does she not? See? Told you so. You saw you fetch! Rude! Can you call in a grievance for a raid? Stop using big words! <laughs> Mimi! I hate it when people say that. It makes them sound so... stupid. Then again, this is a Kuma. Truly there's no need. I've been awaiting permission to kill Bullet Mumos for 72 years. Well, then you have my okay! Kuma, please. Well, gee, why didn't you say something about that sometime this year when she killed Satsuna? Um, Barilite killed the Queen, who was your mother, and you haven't asked Minesweeper to kill her before now. What? We need a filler villain! Can we, as the last endurance, ask for your aid? I have the feeling you could be O.J. Simpson and she'd help you kill Barilite. Yeah, but emphasizing the last and zero thing makes him feel special. Wow, he must have a really small- Permission granted on my part. Agreed. Very well then, Leave and I shall take care of this matter. Harry Gatto! Leave, I shall take care of this. Birth, Gina. Who's Gina? That or somebody ate too many Twinkies. Excuse you, she's neither. She's the leader of a wolf pack up in Edmonton. Now I want to watch Titanic. That's odd. At first I get to the bath, Gina, but then I get the bus, please, Gina. From birth and then I get bath. Mm. Come on, let's go watch an emo 17-year-old outlive the man she loves. Yeah, it can't be any more overwrought than this. Group sing, bitches! Well now, we call this the act of mating. But there are several other very important differences between human beings and animals that you should know about. Do, 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 do. Are you really going to sing the instrumentation? Fuck off! Do, 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 do. I'd appreciate your input. Da na 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 Sweat, baby, sweat, baby, sex in the Texas drought, you and me do the kind of stuff that only Prince would sing about. So put your hands down my pants and I'll bet you'll feel nuts. Yes, I'm Cisco, yes, I'm Ebert, and you're getting two thumbs up. You've had enough of two hand tucks, you want it rough, but out of bed. So I want you smothered, want you covered, like my waffle house hash breads. Come and cook them FedEx, never reach an apex. She like coke and sock, you are inclined to make me rise an hour early, just like daylight savings time you and me baby ain't nothing but mammals so let's do it like they do on the discovery channel you and me baby ain't nothing but mammals so let's do it like they do on the discovery channel get horny now <laughs> right i see you laughing over there i'm gonna make you join in Da, 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 da. No.
Love, the kind you clean up with the mop and bucket Like the lost catacombs of Egypt Only God knows where we stuck at hieroglyphics Let me be specific, I wanna be down in your sauce Break up this notion of the motion of your ocean Meets small craft advisory So if I capsize a new thighs, hot tie, beef pie You stock my battleship, please turn me on And Mr. Coffee with the automatic drip So show me yours, I'll show you my Two time with love it just like love And then we'll do it, doggy style So we can both watch it Files. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get in holding you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get naughty now! Baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get horny now. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get horny now. Get horny now. Get horny now. Get horny <laughs> wow, okay. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Was that good? <laughs>